Hello everyone, welcome to your spiritual liaison one, two, three, where the truth will be told. Get your affirmations and manifestations on through meditation. Love yourself, live your absolute best life, and make sure that you laugh every single day. Hello, Pisces. Hello, Cross Watchers. Hi, guys. I love you guys so much. Sending you nothing but positive energy and hoping that everyone is doing simply amazing. Um, I am about to go ahead and start a reading and I'm using the A.E. Wyatt Tarot deck. I know some of you all will comment like, what tarot deck did, was that? I like that. <laughs> so that's the one that I'm going to use today. The first card that fell out was the Five of Pentacles, Pisces. Um, so something was sort of like going cold in your life or feeling sort of you could have felt sort of left out. Um, this could have been your finances that felt like you felt like things were sort of like frozen or standstill. Um, at a standstill, you could have been worrying a lot, but it's the worryation is actually, it's going to be in vain. It's in vain because things are going to work out for you. Um, so you're really worrying about something and this could be also be business related. Um, it's, but you're worrying about something that you don't have to worry about. The devil card. Mm -hmm. Um, so you could be, you could, this could be, this is the, okay. So this is like a Capricorn card. Um, so with this devil card, you could be in your head a lot, like creating situations. Um, you know, the mind is very powerful. And so you could be creating situations where you are binding yourself to like, um, negativity. You're like sort of almost manifesting negativity in your life because you're so worried about finances. You're so worried about, um, if things are going to turn around. So you could be saying like, I meditate a lot, but it's not working, but that's because you still have the energy of, I don't, you know, like that. It's not, things aren't working out in my life and things like that on you. Um, you really do have, when you speak affirmations, you really do have to have that energy of faith and belief. Um, you have to believe it with everything in your body. Like every cell, you know, has to be on board with um, things that are happening in your life when you speak those affirmations, right? And then we have the high priestess Pisces. And so you could be really like getting the information that you need. Um, so you can try to change your outlook on some things. Um and just get out of this devilish energy and like always convincing yourself, like speaking negatively of yourself um, with the Knight of Cups. And it could have come from like bad relationships or like just bad choices you made in the past. Um, you're the, With the Six of Wands, you're really looking for some sort of victory. You want some victory, some happiness to come into your life and to change your world. You want to see greenness, growth, happiness, joy, um, prosperity around you, Pisces. So you, it looks like you're really looking to change your mind frame after um, dealing with some serious financial problems. You want it all though. You don't want just the great finances. You want the love too. Um, and you're working hard to get that victory um, to accomplish those things. You could be dealing with somebody with the initials B and J um, in their life. And so, I mean, I'm sorry, in your life um, or your initials could be B as in boy and J or something. Anyway, all right. Um, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune, things moving forward, Pisces. So that's what I'm saying. Like, it's something about you worried about finances that you don't need to worry about finances because things are about to change. The, the more that you worry, the more you're putting yourself in that negative devilish energy because like, it's like you're not trusting the universe. You're not trusting yourself. Um, and then you have the queen of cups, Pisces. So you do have like a lot of something is coming into you, um, coming, coming and That's your energy, Pisces. Like, because you've been so giving to so many people or so many different situations, um, you could feel like that you have nothing else left to give, but it's something about, um, your, your cups are about to be replenished. 
and you're you're going to see a victory. Your world is definitely going to change. That and the, when the money comes in, you may be able to purchase you a new car or something because the will of fortune speaks of something moving forward, like wheels turning, um, and something moving forward. And then the eights of swords. So you could be cutting out some bad behaviors, cutting out this negative way of thinking um, of that you're not going to get what you want or things aren't coming as as fast as you want. Um, so when you can see new growth, and so you can see your world change for the better. Um, you could be dealing with a um, some people who have um, like a Leo, a Taurus, a, a an Aquarius, or like a Scorpio. You could also be dealing with a fire sign um, or a water sign. Yeah. Okay, and then... Let's see, what's the next card? All these cards just fell out. I'm going to take them all. You know me, I take, I take it all, right? The tower moment, Pisces. So it's time to let something go. The, the, pow, the tower moment really does speak of like you really letting something go and stop thinking in a certain way. I'm sorry, I'm crunching on ice. I love ice. Mm. Ten of Wands speaks of working, put, putting work behind something. Working very hard and almost carrying more burdens than you should. Five of Swords, you're ready to let all of this bickering. You could have been fighting with yourself, Pisces, as well as other people about your finances and about, you know, the unfairness of them trying to take you off the top and not really being supportive of you the way that you feel like they should or trying to like sabotage the fact all of your hard work or something. And then we have the page of pentacles because you're ready to go on a new journey and start something new in your life. You're ready to have something new in your life. You're ready to see new things, see new, meet new people, um, go new places, you know? And so this, this you carrying, you could have even gotten to the point, like you could have realized you were even carrying other people's burdens. Like you were literally taking on other people's problems and it was called it caused a tower moment in your life it caused you to fall because you were carrying more than you should have been carrying you were you know and it caused a bunch of bickering too and with the ace of pentacles pisces i'm telling you you have some abundance coming in i know i've been saying it in a, in a lot of readings um thank you for the confirmation for the people who have been sending me emails saying you know i just got offered a new job um and it's, i'm making more money than what i've ever made Thank you for in the comment sections, you know, drop a comment in the comment sections. I love it because it gives other people the opportunity to see how well you're doing um, too and that the readings are definitely resonating. Um, but it looks like you've left like a lot of bickering with people behind and you're choosing to go a different route just because you realize the more you bicker with people or argue with them or like pay attention to their simpleness that it's actually changing your energy into something negative. And so it, it kind of messes with your vibrations and being able to manifest what you want or what you need. The Knight of Swords, Pisces, you could be, in, you could be dealing, you could have dealt with some people who were very cold hearted. Um... And that crossed you in a way where they came in fast and hard, um, always like ready to fight, um, very emotionally unattached, um, and just not really even caring about how it affected you. But you also were doing something where you kept focusing on the negative too. Um, and now you're changing that mind frame because you want that stability in your life, Pisces. You're tired of being in that place where you just don't have what you want or have what you need. So you really do want that real stability, that wealth, that abundance, that happiness, that, that fulfillment of family and um and being able to go where you want to go and do what you want to do you know um you could even be really considering like leaving your job and and going into entrepreneurship for yourself just because you feel like you're just really you're ready to go out like take that leap of faith pisces um because you you could see now like working for someone else is just not for you um and it's better for you to work for yourself and then you have the moon card pisces you're still in that energy of feeling like something is being hidden from you you feel like you don't know something um 
But don't worry because whatever it is that you feel like is being hidden from you is going to come out. Um, so it's going you feel like you would be you would move faster or you would be more successful if two cards fell out. So I'm gonna take both, they fell on the floor. I'm gonna take both of them. The seven of pentacles was one of them, which and I just said you just feel like things would move faster if you had some sort of information. So you could be looking at your finances as moving very slow or like your plans moving very slow and you feel like you just don't have what you need to get into like accelerate or something. Um, and then the king of wands. Okay, so you could be dealing with somebody who, who like they get a lot of attention. Um, this could be a fire sign or somebody who likes to get a lot of attention. Um and, or you could have been dealing with an air sign, like an Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. Somebody who, like, like they were very defensive and ready to fight with you and argue with you a lot. Um, always ready to, you know, like, I'll kick your ass or I'll do this to you. You know, I don't have time for this, that, or, you know, always ready to be combative with you. And Pisces, you stood up for yourself, but you also realized because of the negative energy that they were bringing to you, it was causing your, it was throwing your energy off balance and it was causing your energy to be in a negative place. And so you could have been for, a, for momentarily, you could have been really just like thinking in a very like low vibrational way um and, and you had to break yourself out of that because you saw that it was it was making your money stagnant um and so something about you changing like the way you were thinking or handling things is going to bring in prosperity to you and things are going to change in your life you do that you definitely want a victory um you want to see your world change and you definitely want some sort of victory you want to see this you know, you, you want these things happening in your life. Um, but it also, this, these people, um, could have been, you know, causing this conflict because they wanted you to continue to carry their burdens. You were carrying your own weight and theirs and their problems. And they wanted you to continue that. And when you said no, it caused a bunch of confusion. It caused a bunch of arguing. And then, you know, you were dealing with a tower moment because you were dealing with way too much. You faced a tower moment because you were dealing with way too much. So you're ready for that will of fortune, things to move forward, things to progress in your life. Um, you're ready. You, you stop worrying about things not moving as fast as they're supposed to move because they're moving at the pace that they're supposed to move in. We can't always see what's happening around us. Um, so the universe has to work through certain things. Our angels have to fix certain things sometimes before those blessings could come in and people have to you have to be in the right position you have to have people in the right place um, for things to move forward and so Pisces don't worry about it you're definitely um, moving forward in the right way you could have been fussing with people or arguing with people who were trying to knock you off like your status like they didn't want to see you like progress or like be where you are in life they didn't want to see you at that high place um if you had some sort of like leadership position or something they didn't like that about you and then the last card that fell out was the queen of pentacles and so pisces the fact that you're even having to deal with people who um like this, you're you're tired of this. You have the King of Pentacles on the board and the Queen of Pentacles, and so it looks like that you just knew you not only want um, that prosperity for yourself, like you were very generous. You want to be at that place where financially you can be generous because that could be your natural personality where you really like helping people and so that could um due to that you want to have that financial abundance and that security in your life where you are literally like you're financially stable and you're able to be generous and and giving to the people who you who you feel like deserve it or who were giving and generous to you right and so um when you have that financial freedom you can do that um when you have those victories and your world has changed for the better and things like that you can make those kind of decisions right so Pisces, don't give up. Um, as I always say, I love the fact that you all leave comments in the comment section. That's the end of the reading. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Make sure you share my videos with your family and friends and even your enemies. Uh -huh. 
Um, and so make sure that um, you put that energy into the positive things in your life, which you pay attention to manifest. And so if you put, if you're putting that energy into the positive things in your life and you're getting that, those wheels turning to move forward. Um, like I said, we have a new moon coming up tomorrow. And so you want these things to move forward in your life. You have to stay focused on the positive um, and not really deal with and, and keep focusing on who said what, who did what, who did not do what, who like none of that even matters. Um, you know how you want to live. You know the kind of lifestyle, the kind of lifestyle that you want to live. And so you have to put that energy into that, um, making sure that that comes true. Make sure you go to roseforever.com to get you some roses. They still smell simply amazing, right? They look so good. They still look so good and they smell so great. So make sure you go to roseforever.com to get your flowers um, and um, just spoil yourself, Pisces. Love yourself and do whatever it takes to get to that next level um, and be unapologetic about it too. Like you do not owe anyone any explanation for why, for why you feel like you should live a luxurious life. Correct? Correct. Okay, that's the end of the reading. I'm sending you nothing but positive vibes. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Love yourself. Love those who love you and that do not have a problem with showing you that they love you with no strings attached. Love your pets. And I love you guys. Let that open those windows, get a nice breeze and let that air in. Um, and if you can't get outside, do some exercise in the bed. If you can get outside, go for a nice, beautiful walk um, if the weather permits. And I'm sending you nothing but good vibes. I love you guys. Make sure that you like, share and subscribe.